Hi, I'm Sandy from Lightning Tools, and I'm here again with Brett. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you too. How's, how are things over there? Yeah, pretty good. It's cold for oh. August. Well, no, I guess we're in September now, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it was cold at the end of August and also into mm. September. So, mm. uh, yeah, we so it was cold promised. for your holiday, your bank yeah. holiday? Yes, yes, it was. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so we're in the low teens Celsius, mm. uh, which, uh, what, 60-ish Fahrenheit? Yeah, that is chilly. Like that. Yeah, so um, yeah, we need to crank up the temperature a bit to, just <laughs> just to get the, uh, the the end of the summer in, mm. <laughs> prepare us for the winter. So. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, so today, I guess um, we're going to take a look at one of the new features of DeliverPoint's new release that's coming out in September. Yeah, absolutely. And we should only be a week or so away uh, from uh, from this being available. And you know, we have got our webinar as well. We'll be mm -hmm. obviously showing off this feature too, uh, as well as being able to uh, give a good introduction to, you know, what Deliver Point is and so on. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in and, and take a look at it. So okay. I'm just going to go in and share my screen here. OK, so you should see my screen. And yes. in here, <laughs> we're going to go across to my sales hub as an example. And um, what we can do uh, contextually and also centrally is go through and report on permissions. And we have just a few little shortcuts here uh, for some of the sort of more common type permission reports that you might run. So yeah, I can go through and discover permissions and we can go through and filter it if we want to see something specifically. So uh, maybe we're after you know, people that have uh, edit permissions or something like that. And, you know, of course, we could go through and filter on other columns and things like that as well. Uh, so that's just like a quick uh, discover permissions report. Um, but what we've also got as we open up the main deliver point page is the ability to run an advanced discover permissions report. And with this one, um, we're sort of telling it up front what we want to see. So uh, we can go through and say, you know, I'm looking for people with edit permissions and we could add you know a further uh filter condition to that with an and or an or operator mm -hmm. uh so if it was you know I'm, I'm looking for the permission level of edit or you're in a certain mm -hmm. uh azure ad security group or, or something like that we could go through and uh, and do that mm -hmm. um so we can provide it with that type of information there's other uh, properties that you can see here that we can also uh, filter upon and then under settings there's uh, the ability to include subsites uh, if you use subsites and also lists and items that have broken permission inheritance we can also include sharing links we can show the item hierarchy which will show the folder structure as hyperlinks so you can go through and navigate to the different folders and also there's the ability to show uh, items or lists or subsites that even you know do inherit their permissions as well although i prefer not to mm -hmm. so you know this just took a little while <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, this is just running on the single site uh, but when i hit generate it provides me with that report and everything that i do want to see mm -hmm. um, so uh, you know we have just got people with edit permissions to each of these and it's only showing those objects with unique permissions which is great um, but this might be a report that i want to run on a regular basis so maybe uh, you know i want to run it every quarter or something like that which would be useful for um, you know, auditing purposes and, and so on or, or having site collection administrators verify the right people have permissions to their content that they manage and that type of idea um, so what we can do now uh, in this next release of DeliverPoint is to actually save the report as a template so you can just quickly run it when you need it again and um, there's a, a couple of examples that I've put together and um, we can also save this one as a template as well so you'll notice on the actions menu there is the save as template option uh -huh. uh, so i just simply go through and click that and we can give this a name uh, so uh, this is on the sales site so i'm just going to call it my sales site permissions and uh, maybe in parentheses we'll say something like people with edit mm. or something like that mm. so it's a descriptive name so i know what i'm, I'm going to get and this is by default only going to show up for me so it could be a report that I like to run, um, but equally I can make it a shared report as well if it's oh, something nice. that I perhaps want yeah, other people to be able to run as well. Uh, so uh, once I save that, um, you can see here it says the report has been saved successfully and we can access that from the report template section 
of the reports menu. Okay. So as and we that's go also through, new, that choice. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so in here are some of the other reports that I've created prior to uh, to this recording. And uh, you can see here, this is the one that we just created. So my, my sales site permissions and people with edit. Uh, so if I want to run that again, I can just simply select it and then choose generate. And that would generate the same report, saving me from having to go through and provide those filter values and awesome. uh, select each of those different options. Uh, so we've mm -hmm. got everything that I, I chose there. But now, of course, it's using whatever the current sta status is of all of those permissions. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not a snapshot mm -hmm. uh, report. It's actually mm -hmm. dynamic. It's showing you who's got permissions as of now when I, uh, when I execute this. So yeah, this is just something that I can run every three months to see, mm -hmm. you know, uh, are, are we still uh, as it should be, <laughs> you know, cool. as far as permissions is concerned? What if I did want a snapshot? Then I could just uh, ex save it as a Excel, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So, uh, so you can export these reports as mm -hmm. well, and that will take it into uh, into Excel. So, uh, so that's a, a useful feature. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, uh, just another sort of scenario for this one because. Honestly, that wasn't too much effort in actually going through <laughs> and providing all of those different options. Right. Um, but what I could do is uh, go into the tree view here and inside the tree view, I can go through and select hub sites. Now, one of the things that's unique about hub sites is each site in your hub is going to have unique permissions mm. uh, or, or can have unique permissions. So. One of the things that DeliverPoint allows you to do is actually to go through and select, you know, all of the different sites within the hub. Uh, so we can uh, first of all go and see all of those. So all of these sites here are all related to the Lightning Tools software site, and anything with the SharePoint icon in the tree view is actually the site itself. Mm. So I can go through and select all of those, and we can run a discover permissions advanced on that one or sharing links report, whatever it might be. Uh, we could maybe bring back everything this time and we'll go through and choose everything that's uh, unique uh, as far as that's concerned. And, and again, show the, uh, the the hierarchy. So I only had you know, five, five or so sites in my hub. You mm. may have hundreds or thousands. Mm. Um, so, you know, going through and selecting those every single time you mm. want to see it's got permissions to different sites and hub is going to be time consuming. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I've actually ended up with here is a report of you know, every site that is in my mm -hmm. hub who's got permissions to those sites and also the lists with unique permissions or the libraries with unique permissions and all the folders and the documents that have unique permissions. So this is a really powerful use of that template. I can now go through and say save as template and I'll call this the Lightning Tools hub permissions. And again, we could make that shared or not. I could just keep that for myself. And uh, from that reports menu now, as we go down to the report template, uh, you can see here it is. And that's only going to show up for me. It's not shared. Uh, so I can just basically go through, select that and generate it. And uh, we've got all the permissions within the hub in one quick click. Uh, <laughs> that's so, really uh, nice. Yeah, it uh, saves a tremendous amount of time. And of course, you can do the same thing in Teams as well. So if you've created lots of different Teams, um, you can access this in Teams and, and you know, have a report against all the Teams that you manage and uh, easily see all of those permissions in, in one report from there as well. Um, so you can actually open up DeliverPoint in Teams, uh, but also from the uh, SharePoint uh, user experience, you'll notice that I can also select all of my different teams here as well uh, from the teams view inside of deliver point. Cool. Absolutely. So uh, that is the main new feature <laughs> for, uh, for deliver point this month. Yeah, I think um, that's, that's, that's going to be a really great addition to the tool. Yeah, and you know, this is just the start of that feature as well. One of the things that we also want to do with it in the future is to be able to pin some of these reports out to the menus too. Um, so uh, yeah, in the, uh, the the shortcuts that I pointed out where you've got the discover permissions and the sharing links, yeah, if there is a regular report that you want to run, we'll be able to pin that uh, report to mm. that view mm. uh, so that you can just literally get to it within one click of the current site. So. Very nice. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yep, that, yeah, that's been a pretty common request, I think, from people where uh, they have come up with 
you know, a whole bunch of options that they've configured for for a report that they need to do, as you say, regular on some kind of regular basis, and they wish they didn't have to do all those clicks every time. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think what would be worth uh, talking about next uh, episode as well is uh, about the enterprise version okay. of uh, of Deliver Point. So, um, yeah, that is something on along similar lines, um, but really designed for your know, very large reports that may actually take a long time to run dynamically. Um, so what we uh, we can do with inside our enterprise version is um, schedule those reports to uh, to run. I think we touched on this last time. Uh, so we'll be able to demonstrate that and how um, yeah, that, that can be used. So you actually get notified when the report is ready rather mm -hmm. than uh, sitting here and waiting for it to run. Right. <laughs> so you've got tens of thousands of items or, mm -hmm. uh, or sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be good to talk about. Fantastic. All right, sounds good. Uh, well, yeah, so short and sweet, but I think <laughs> I think that's a really good little demo of Thank the you. new feature. Yeah, well, enjoy the uh, Florida sunshine. I will. And um, <laughs> if you get a chance to send some this way, I'll send feel some free over, to yeah. do so. <laughs> All <Yeah>. right, <laughs> okay, so I'll talk to you later. Yeah, thanks, Andy. Bye. Bye.